As you can see, by the title, you know what we're gonna be doing today. I'm on my laptop, so I'm gonna be facing my laptop, but you're right there, so I can kind of like look back and forth at you. Today, we are going to be reviewing Hello Kitty collabs, and I don't know if you're as excited as me, but Hello Kitty is the core of my being. And let me let me just show you what I mean. This was my room. The year was 2003, September 6, 2003, and if you can see anything, I would like for you to see this right here. Pom Pom Purin is covering all the people that I don't know except my brother. Look at him. And then there's me back there with a headband. Front, lead, and center playing what game? If you know, put in the comments right now. If you don't know, I'm gonna tell you. It is Mario Party, yeah! girl. That is Luigi right there. And then a little freaking, I think that's a, not a Koopa Kid. Is it a Koopa Kid? Hold on. Oh wait, it's a Koopa. Okay, yeah, so the Koopas. You know, you know what I'm talking about. So this is my Hello Kitty room. This was me. Oh my God, I remember so many things in this picture. Let's do a room tour real quick. These are my Hello Kitty curtains. There's my little Barbie poster. Here's a little Hello Kitty figurine back here. If you couldn't tell already, this was definitely my pick me era because look at me, I'm playing Mario Party. There's a bunch of boys in my room and yeah, my Hello Kitty pillow, my Hello Kitty bedspread. It's just like, it's popping in here, you guys. Hello Kitty lore to my core. Okay, anyway, you get the point. Yeah, I love Hello Kitty. I do have some pictures here. So this is the one that you were just looking at. Here is my little Hello Kitty themed birthday. Don't know what age. There's like little Hello Kitties on all four corners of the cake. And then look at me here, you guys. Look at my little McDonald's Barbie over here. And then this is a Hello Kitty that you can't really see. It's a lollipop. Oh, look at me. Oh, look at me here with my little Hello Kitty stationary a little hello kitty bag i think this was all from the sanrio store cute right and then last but not least here's me with my little hello kitty cap my hands are shaky as f because i'm caffeinated but anyway <laughs> so i yeah i did pull out all of these from the archive just to show you that i am a hello kitty stan and an og fan okay i don't want any slander over here that i'm just a newcomer of hello kitty because i'm not all right i've been here so now that we have my credentials established, we can now get into the good stuff. All right, so I took the liberty of already generating the Hello Kitty collabs, okay? As you can see here, we have got quite a lot going on. To start, I just did the first one, which was Forever 21, and I'm going to exclude the whole Sanrio universe. I know that this top says Hello Kitty and Friends, but the objective is to kind of stay honed in on Hello Kitty. Let's just look up Hello Kitty up here. Can we do a quick view? You know what? I'm about this. This is cute. I wouldn't say for this age group. I would say I would get this for my little daughter if I had a little daughter. And she would be wearing this and strutting it and, str and, and strutting it and looking really hella cute. I'm just going to rate this off the bat a 7 out of 10. Let's just disregard age at all for the rating and I think this is a this is a win. I'm just gonna go to the ones that speak to me because I don't really have the time nor do you to go through every single little thing. Yeah, that's gonna be a no from me. Like what even is this? It looks like a poncho pajama, five out of 10. Okay, now wait a minute. When you introduce the pants, this went from a seven out of 10 to something better. Mm-hmm, this is what I'm talking about. Tasteful Hello Kitty, okay? We don't need Hello Kitty all over the damn place. We need her on the back pocket. We need to just have a little glimpse of it and be like, oh my God, that's Hello Kitty. Cause it, it kind of, it catches you by surprise and then it makes you feel a little joyous inside. But when it's everywhere, girl, we don't need all of that. I love this now. Wait, I kind of sound like a hypocrite. Was the whole fit in the original photo? It kind of was, but I wasn't really paying attention to the pants. Oh, you know, maybe it's the tank too. Like maybe it's the whole fit together. I'm gonna get this like an 8.5 out of 10, maybe. Maybe a nine? That is a really cute outfit. The hearts, even though hearts can be a little bit dramatic, I think it's still cute. This is the kind of shit I would see in the Sanrio store when I was a kid, and I was obsessed, girl. This is Y2K Hello Kitty lore. I love this all the way. This is a 9.5 out of 10 for me. Love it. This is giving yes. This is giving 100% I approve. This is giving 10. <gasps> no! It was about to be 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 because it's not embroidered, okay? This is gonna fall right off once you wash it like four times. <sighs> so close, but so far. The wings, perfect. Classic, classic Hello Kitty. 
font, perfect. Everything looks honestly great. I love the square neck. It's perfect. Well, it's not perfect. It's a 9.5 out of 10. But if it was embroidered, it would be a 10 out of 10. Yup, this is what I mean. 10 out of 10, girl. Did we find our first 10 out of 10? Yep, this is her. And she is on a perfectly aged little girl, okay? I love this for her. For an adult, I don't know, but for her, perfect. This is tasteful. We've got the bow on the collar. If she was wearing a vest or like a sweater over it, we would see that and immediately know Hello Kitty. And when she opens it up, like Superman style, all the eyes are turning at her because she is a Hello Kitty girl and we love that for her, 10 out of 10. This, this could have been something, but I think it's a little loud with the cable knit. I think the cable knit kind of ruins it a little bit and it takes away from the bow. Maybe like a seven out of 10. It's cute, but we weren't thinking. <gasps> yes, another 10 out of 10. And you know what? This does not need to be embroidered. You know why? Because it is that classic 2005 spray on shirt vibe. Wait, spray paint shirt? Airbrush, oh my God. 10 out of, 10. I'm obsessed with this. I want this. Please buy it for me immediately. Actually, like, fuck, do I need this? <laughs> no, I don't need it, but I want it, okay? So I need it. Forever 21, you did the damn thing, okay? This is great. I'm obsessed with this freaking collaboration that y'all did with Hello Kitty. This is genuinely one of the most impressive collabs I have ever seen. I'll give you this footage if you send me free stuff. This, this is okay. Wait, hello? Oh, this is the pants. Oh, <gasps> the pants. I know that these are all gonna fall right the f off, but this is fire. The font, it's giving Japan streetwear. Yeah, I love this. This is, this is cool. If we could get some insurance on those gems, it would give it maybe half a point extra, but let's call this a nine out of 10. But you guys can clearly see like, what the f I want this. <laughs> I want this, what the hell? I want all of this. I might cry. My eyes are starting to water. All right, let's move on. Forever 21, great job. Now we are taking it on over to Vera Bradley. Immediately, this is captivating me. Yeah, I like this. I would say this is like a nine and a half out of 10. If you wanna know what my criteria is, what the rubric is, I'm sorry, you're gonna just have to ask Mrs. Hughes because I don't know. 75 bucks, that's expensive. Yeah, I would give this like a nine and a half out of 10. Good job. Yeah, no, that's a no from me. I don't like it. I just think that if Hello Kitty is going to be all over something, we need to see her. We don't need to see what she's doing. We don't need to see the things around her. We just need to see her. And it needs to be spread enough that we can appreciate her, okay? We don't need too much of her, okay? She's not a whore. This is just a no. Too much is going on. Why am I getting mad? <laughs> boring, boring. This is cute. I'd possibly wear this on my person. Mm, possibly not, actually. I'm sure what you want me to do is like go into the Vera Bradley design that has Hello Kitty in it and rate that. So let me just pull that up really quick. Yeah, that's ugly, okay? <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> it's ugly. Okay, like I get it. I get it. We got the Vera Bradley Paisley going on and we want to incorporate Hello Kitty into that because anyone who's into Vera Bradley is into that look. But I just don't like this. Like, are we playing Where's Waldo? Like, no. If we're going to have Hello Kitty incorporated into the Vera Bradley look, let's blend her, okay? I know that we want Hello Kitty to speak, but if we're going to let her speak, let her be alone, okay? We don't need to play Where's Waldo on the Vera Bradley. Blend her in, make her seamless, and let, let, let her be eye-catching for the person who's just kind of staring, okay? Let them be like, oh my god, that's Hello Kitty. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be like, oh, oh, that's Hello Kitty. That looks kind of crazy. I want to be like, oh, that's such a cute pet. <gasps> Is that Hello Kitty in there? That's how I want to be. I want to be freaking out when I find Hello Kitty in it. Even though I said it's not Where's Waldo, it's different, okay? It's different when it's embedded, but when it's like popping out enough, you know, like Where's Waldo has like the white and red stripes, but if Where's Waldo was wearing like a different colored scheme, like if Where's Waldo was in like a purple place, he had purple stuff on, you'd be like, oh my God, that's Where's Waldo. You kind of freak out a little bit. You are appreciating this background scheme and then you're seeing Where's Waldo and you're like, wow, look at him. <laughs> okay, moving on. So I guess I'll rate this. Let's rate this like a six out of 10. It's not horrible. I just don't really like it that much. Yeah, let's move on. I'm done with Bear Bradley. All right, MVMT. I'm going to guess that it's pronounced movement. This is cute, okay? I'm not really big into watches. Actually, funny enough, my first watch was a watch kind of like this. It was a Philips watch. I don't know what brand, but it was a watch that was like for adults, but I was like a little girl in what, fourth grade wearing a watch like this. I think this is very tasteful for a person who loves Hello Kitty and wants to be tame about it. I think this is a great way to go about it. If you like don't have anything Hello Kitty on your person, 
and you know, you're super chic and you got this on and someone notices it, they catch a glimpse, they're like, oh my God, I love your watch. And you're like, yeah, girl, I love Hello Kitty too. I think this is a 10 out of 10. Great job movement. Y'all did great. All right, Hot Topic, you're next, girl. This hat's ugly. <laughs> I feel so mean when I say the word ugly, but it is, it's ugly. And also it has the friends on there. So we're missing the objective. Also is Hello Kitty a collab with Hot Topic or do they just sell Hello Kitty stuff there? I don't know if this is an adequate way to go about this, but let's just kind of do a quick scroll. And I'm bored. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Wait, this is cute. I don't even like Boba, but this is cute. It, it would make me cry if I looked at it long enough. This is kind of reminding me of that Hello Kitty pillow that I have. Yeah, I like that. Okay, Crocs. <sighs> I know a lot of people are into Crocs these days. This is an absolute atrocity. Crocs, what in the f Who is on your design team for collaborations? Girl, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to call you out that aggressively, but like, what is this? This is giving like, what's that like alligator game where you like chomp the balls? Hungry Hunger Hippo. It's not alligators, it's hippos. It is literally giving me Hungry Hunger Hippo. So maybe I tried really hard, but this is, this is feeling lazy to me, okay? <laughs> My empathy is showing. I feel bad, but like, what the f Like these whiskers here, like they go into the holes of the Crocs. What, what is happening? Like the bow? Okay, let me tell you what would have done right. Get rid of the blue. Girl, you don't need to have every color of Hello Kitty in the shoe. You just want Hello Kitty to speak. You could have just had the red sport mode strap and the red bow. You didn't need the whiskers, you didn't need the blue. Make it come with a giant red bow gibbet. And then you can use the gibbet in other places. Like now I don't have to be stuck with Hello Kitty Crocs with a red bow on it. <laughs> this is a two out of 10. I give it two points because I do like the bow and I do like the red strap. So 1.2 point. Okay, I do know that there's other stuff, so let's let's look into more. 10 out of 10. Perfect gibbets. It's tasteful. We've got the mill. We've got the Hello Kitty and the Hello Kitty font. We've got Hello Kitty face card, and we've got Hello Kitty body audi. Love it. This, there's two types of clogs here. We've got the chunky heel and then the regular clog. This is, I don't even know how to rate this because this is just, it's a mess. But it's almost cute. It's almost so tacky that it's cute. So it's really, really hard to measure. I'm gonna give this a five out of 10, okay? This is kind of balancing on the line of so tacky it's ugly to so tacky it's cute. I would say that this would be perfect if the base was blue or red, the top was completely white, and we just had the red bow. That's all you needed, girl. You didn't need this Hello Kitty repeated pattern. You didn't need her. Same here, you did not need that. But this one's honestly cuter because it's monochromatic. I like this, I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. I actually think this is the best one. I don't know that I would wear this in public, but I'd wear this around the house. I don't know about $79.99. Maybe I would wear it out. I don't love it, but I like it. The improved version would obviously be getting rid of the repeated pattern and just having the red bow, the white, and then the base red. Perfect. Oh yeah, all of these are cute. I would love to look at that Lisa Frank stuff, but not today. All right, moving on. Pottery Barn, you're next girl. So off the bat, I already had this pulled up and I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10, this is perfect. There's not really much to explain, I know that you get it. It's 10 out of 10, it's beautiful. It looks comfy, it looks cozy. I love the blend of the cotton. It makes it look rich and fabulous. Now let's go ahead and look at the other stuff. Pottery Barn, girl, I need you to send me everything immediately. We need someone to judge this in person and I need it to be me. There's a lot of hits, there's a couple of misses. I've kind of already scrolled through this already. Let's just do kind of a speed run. This is good, I like this. I would give that a nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. This is what Vera Bradley needed to do. Blend her in, girl. This is beautiful. I would look at that from far away and be like, wow, what a cute pattern. And then when I come up close, I'm gonna freak the f out. I'm going to lay on that pillow and cry. Genuinely, great job. I'm not obsessed with the pattern personally, but 10 out of 10 for what it is. This pillow is cute, love it. This, mm, I feel like the centered Hello Kitty is a little unnecessary. Like Hello Kitty needs to be the center if she's going to be centered and having her centered in two pillows that stand side by side, I don't think that's a good move. It's fine, I would give this like an eight out of 10. This is such a cute, towel. I love what they did to it. It's not my vibe, but I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I think they did a great job for whoever the audience of that is. This is cute. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, girl. Love the lamp. Let's just give Pottery Barn a general 9.9 out of 10. They slayed. They slayed all of this. This is fantastic. I think they did a great job. Their designer clearly is very sophisticated and knows what they're doing, but I'm nobody. So like, who am I to say anything? Oh, you know, I do want to show you my favorite piece that they have, the thing that I want so badly, the crochet trim sheet set. 
Now, this is another example of what I mean by tastefully blended in. I would look at this and be like, oh, what a cute little crochet kind of knitted sheet set. And then I would look closer and I would see Hello Kitty and I would freak the fuck out. This is another example of something that I would look at long enough and I would start to cry. I would love to own this, but a hundred and freaking sixty dollars, girl, I don't want to spend that. So send it to me for free. I don't know much about box launch, but I know that I have gotten Instagram ads from them and I have contemplated like I've gotten to the point of 80% sure of buying something and then I just chicken out because I just don't know them. I don't know that I would wear a racing jacket like this, but if I ever did, this would definitely be a vibe. And I'm super into it. I wish there was more photos, but yeah, good job guys. I would say this is like a nine out of 10. This has become less about just rating stuff and more about finding things that I like. So I love this shirt. This is a 10 out of 10 to me. This shirt is giving, I have a boyfriend who stands me, who me stands Hello Kitty and my significant other wants to stand what I stand so that whenever they come across another girly pop, they ask them about their shirt and they say, oh, my girlfriend loves Hello Kitty and I did this because I stand her. That's, that's what this is giving. <laughs> if I had a boyfriend that was wearing this, it would be a happily ever after just for this shirt. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. Now ask me to explain why. I can't. Yeah, Box Lunch has a bunch of cute Hello Kitty stuff. This is kind of giving like what I was saying earlier about Hot Topic. It looks like they just sell Hello Kitty stuff and it's not necessarily a collab, but those shirts are like not generic Hello Kitty. I feel like they're giving something like a collab. So it seemed like a collab. Okay, next, we are nearing the end. So now we have moved on to cases. Actually, let me just do a uh, Sonics really quick. I actually bought this case and I, I genuinely liked it a lot. I think this is a little bit gaudy. I was a little bit unsure about it. It wasn't fully giving everything I wanted it to give. I think the reason is because it's too two-dimensional and it it's almost giving 3D because it has like the shine here and it's got that metallic gold wrapped around it. And, it. and it honestly is very beautiful. I'm not trying to knock it too much. But I think that if this was a little bit more epoxied or like acrylic, and make this look like it's in a bubble. I feel like that's the best way that I can describe it. I'm speaking more on experience here. I know you can't really see all of that from this little zoom in picture, but when I had it in person, I was really disappointed with how flat it looked. Even with the glitter, like it was just, it just looked really flat. It's a beautiful case though, and I would give this a 9.5 out of 10. What else do they have though? Oh! <gasps> I honestly don't really understand how this is stuck on here, but 10 out of 10, it's beautiful. I love it. Oh yeah, girl. These are the competitors. Yeah, y'all, she is the moment here. Oh, here's more pictures. That's what I was looking for. <gasps> what is this? Oh no, y'all ruined it with this little bejeweled thing. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I, I feel like this would be really uncomfortable to wear, but it is cute. What else we got here? I'm getting tired. I really don't want to talk anymore. Sonics, y'all are doing a good job. It looks like y'all are doing great. I like the look of the aluminum stickers plastered all over the phone case. I feel like that's giving Lisa Frank, so it's tasteful. This is really cute. I like this a lot. Yeah, that's cute. I'm okay with that. This is a no. Uh, you can tell I'm getting tired because I, I sound really bored. Caseify always slaps. You know, they do a great job with stuff. And this is an example of something that I would totally own if it was my aesthetic. I would totally buy this in a heartbeat if I didn't have such a hardcore silver aesthetic. This is gonna sound so vain, but I do a lot of mirror selfies and my accessories are important to me. So I don't want my phone case to take away from the accessories that I'm wearing when I'm taking a mirror picture. God, what kind of world do we live in that I'm saying this right now? You know what I'm saying, okay? You you know what I'm saying. But I would have this on anything else. Like anything that I'm not going to showcase next to me. Like if this was a laptop case, I would buy that. I would own that. I would love that. Yeah, that's cute. 10 out of 10. Girl, tell me how I did not see this. Stop. This is... Uh, I'm so dramatic. I could cry again looking at this. Are you kidding me it literally has a little toaster freaking thing on the side oh my god i'm obsessed with that I, I think i'm gonna do a nice little cute lineup at the end this is it this is the perfect case a mirror background or a silver background and then the hello kitty receipt y'all did it send me this case right now i need this case i need this case oh my god y'all slay case defy oh my god how long have we been recording Oh my God, it's been about an hour. This, this was fun. Okay, I'm really tired because I've been at this all day trying to set this up and I'm exhausted. My makeup's already kind of falling apart. But 
This was fun. I want to do something like this again for something else. And I love this kind of like podcast format because I'm kind of laid back. Okay, so there was a lot of 10 out of 10 scores in all of these collabs. And I'm genuinely so impressed by everybody who participated. Good job, guys. But these right here, wow. these right here, these are my not only 10 out of 10, but I want to own immediately as a Hello Kitty adult. So if you are any of these brands and you created any of these things, my address is, um, yeah, let's do more of these in the future. If you liked it, let me know. If you have any comments, let me know. If you have any criticism, let me know. If you agreed, let me know. I haven't done this outro in forever, but thank you guys so, so much for watching all the way until the end if you did. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and good luck on anything that you need luck on. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Do y'all know what these are? <laughs> these are the most expensive chips I've ever seen. $2.50 for this tiny little bag. Lots of protein, carbs are decent. Actually, carbs are low as five total carbs, five grams of fat, 19 grams of protein. Let me tell you, they taste like chips. Oh my God. Oh my God. Damn, these are so good. I want to know how they prove the macromolecule content in foods. Like I know that Calorimetry is a way to prove like the amount of calories, but how do you prove the macromolecule? Like, how do you prove the protein? How do you say like, yep, that's 14 grams? Especially in something like this, it's a chip. How do you prove that? I was alarmed with these bags because I was like, it's like 99% air. It doesn't make sense when you get it because it feels so light, but it does have a lot of chips in here. Like, I feel pretty satisfied. So impressed. All right, you guys.